Soon we are going to hit the road again. So we have something to actually prepare our van. Yeah. Uh, one thing that we have done now every winter when we are not using the van is take the pump out from the van. Uh, there's two reasons. Yeah, it might get broken because of the uh, too cold, or it just being there without usage. Yeah. And every springtime and every fall time we will sanitize our fresh water tank because we use that tank for our drinking water. So we will put citric acid and clean the tanks. And this has been working since seven years and we have used al always a tank for drinking water. Yeah, and exactly. For the bump, um, this rice bump, we have actually replaced one of these and it wasn't because we were pumped too much water, approximately 7000 liters. But during the winter time uh, it got frozen and yeah. got broken. And one thing, if your pump is uh, stuck after winter, there is one thing that you can do. Um, there's a filter, you take the filter out, and there is these blades inside. So sometimes the axle of the pump gets stuck. Roll the blades for a couple of rounds and it works again. So you don't have to actually buy a new pump. But yeah, rife pumps, they are good for 10,000 or 20,000 liters. And pumps are not expensive, so even if you broke one, it's not a big deal and you can get them almost everywhere. So Yeah, not 15 euros, I think it's this pump. Yeah. So we are driving our van around these narrow streets and we let the citric acid water to splash in our freshwater tank. We use 50 to 100 grams of citric acid per 20 liters of water. It's a quite heavy mixture, but in that way you can get all the chalk away. We take three liters of hot water, dissolve the citric acid to that water and mix it with the 20 liters of cold water to the cold water tank. Then run it through our boiler, so through cold and hot to the pot taps and let it be there for at least half an hour, hour. So if you do uh, less mixture, then it's not any more uh, disinfection. So it has to be a strong mixture with citric acid, it to be working there. Yeah, and then we go for a drive. I think we could go wash the van. Oh, <laughs> rinsing. Rinsing is uh, one of the most important things uh, Luckily, citric acid, you can actually drink that, so it's not uh, poisonous. That's why we use citric acid. And usually two times when you run 20 liters of cold water through the pipes, it will get rid of all the citric acid. After two or three rinses, you can actually taste from the water. If it's still citric, then rinse some more, and if not, then it's ready. This property has a really good tasting drinking water so we can leave the house with a perfectly potable fresh drinking water and continue our journey and this is perfect timing to leave this whew, rather hell hole. It's so hot here and it's not even summer yet so we are glad we are driving north. Yeah. Yeah, and also excited about just driving somewhere. <laughs> we were here quite a long time and uh, we did not suffer, but sometimes we felt a bit anxious to be here. But this was a good pause from uh, traveling and we did save quite a lot of money being stationary in this house. So, so basically we got our uh, bathroom renovation for free compared to other months and also saved some money for future travels. Yeah. So this is a perfect solution. House sitting. Thank yeah. you. Spanish would be better because there's a much cheaper food. That was our main uh, expense during these months. Yeah, food. food. Nothing else. Food is rather expensive here in France. But yeah. now we don't have that huge culture shock when we go back to Finland because food is expensive in Finland too. So it will be horrible. 
Whoa. Yeah. We have to fish a lot ourselves. Free uh, fish and eat beans. And one thing we have to do before we leave this place, we have to go swimming. Swimming in the pool. Pool. Life shower. We are preparing our van to road ready. Now we are just doing final touch-ups. So Jonny climbed to the roof of the van and started washing all the dirt away from the van. So there's a lot of things to do before you can hit the road again. And this is our rock. This is Kura Stoppari, really good project. A kind of expensive one. It's a Finnish product. It can tolerate mud and freezing temperatures. And guess what? You can wash this in a washing machine also. I did not know that. This rock is excellent because you can cut it in a shape with the scissors. And now that we have washed it, it's a black and white. Who would believe? Because it was all brown and grainish color. But you can see there's a little wearing spots. Example this one. We always step inside of the van using this spot. So that's why it has this bold patch in it. Everything starts to grow here. There's a little bit of green here on the trees. Uh, yeah, we have been doing a lot of cleaning to do. Solar panels cleaned, all the roof has been cleaned. Also, our, all our windows, and we disinfected the water system. So, just using citric acid and running through it to the system and let it sit there for a while. So, that way, we can actually get rid of also chalk. We have been uh, traveling in southern Europe where it's really hard water, so it accumulates to the system. So, using citric acid. You can get rid of everything and disinfect in the same time. Best product ever. Yeah, water tanks are ready. Toilet is ready. Everything is ready for next chapter of our travels. We are really excited. This house it was a bit too long for us. We were actually anxious to leave the house already weeks ago. So now when we are actually leaving and ready to leave, it's really awesome feeling. The freedom. Yeah, uh, these are the faults of Fiat Ducatas. These are leaking, I think, in every possible Fiat Ducata from 2012. Some does leak, some doesn't. But every van will, at some point, will leak. What is the uh, motor compartment? So. There is a couple of fixes. Using the glue, we need this uh, seal, or just using uh, electrical tape and changing that once a year. We are doing that, so now it's time to change it, so it will be okay again for one year. Easy fix. Another design fault that we have fixed completely. You can open Fiat to cut the door with the screwdriver. Just point the screwdriver here, a little bit upwards and do this. It opens the whole lock mechanism in the van. There is a plate sold, which actually fixed that problem. So people are always talking about the gassing in Europe. So that robbers cannot be that silent to get inside of their Fiat Dugatas. Well, they can. It takes less than 10 seconds and it doesn't make any sound. Yeah. So, if somebody thought that there's uh, robbers that use gas in Europe, tell them they are a little bit weird. We have used wire between the cockpit door before we install it this pre-clock system in our Fiat Ducato. Yeah. And now chasing the electrical tape so we don't get any leakage. We 
we are getting rid of this uh, sticker which is here in Adria Twins and all of the stickers in every year of the Adria Twins they are burned here so they don't look good so now with the toffee uh, peat we're gonna actually remove the stickers and in future we will do it much more better looking I don't know how but YouTube will teach us After working really hard with our van we decided to enjoy this weather and eat outside our silly sin carne and a cold beer and leftover tortilla wraps as a bread Look at this huge table Whoa! 